welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm Monica and we are here for February's Shop My Stash video. That is what we're doing today. I was actually going to do this a little bit later in the month to kind of shake things up. But we're going to start that in March because this month I wanted to pick out a very specific pink toned palette for Valentine's Day. I figured that was perfect for this. So we're going to dive into my makeup, get a whole new slew of items. I'm so excited. I already have an idea of what I want to pick out. And so I'm excited to dive in with you guys and pick them out together. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pick out my makeup for the month of February. All right. So for primer, I'm going to pull this Essence Hydro Hero Primer. This is obviously hydrating and my skin is feeling kind of dry right now. I mean, my skincare is keeping it moisturized, but it just kind of feels dry. And so I just want that little extra bit of hydration and I think this will be a good choice for that. Then for foundation, I'm actually gonna pull this foundation I've had in its box and have never tried. It is the Fenty Eavesdrop Foundation. If you have watched my channel at all, you know I love the stick foundation version of this. Um, and I've never tried the regular fluid version, so I wanna pull it and try it out. I also love the packaging, but I have high hopes for this. I really, really do. Then for concealer, I'm gonna pull this NYX Bear With Me Concealer. I got it as a free gift with purchase in my latest Ulta order, and I've never tried it. It's actually really cool. They let you pick the shade you want for your free gift with purchase. That's newer, that's a newer thing that I guess they're doing. I've never tried this and I really want to and I think it's going to be good to kind of maintain the hydration under my eyes. Like I said, I'm looking for that extra boost of hydration so I'm excited to try this out. I've never ever tried it before but I know obviously it's very, very loved. Alright, so now I'm at my blush, bronzer, and highlight drawer. I feel like I really need to declutter this but my declutter is not coming for a bit. Be honest my I do like a yearly declutter and so I haven't done that yet but I do know I want to pick a couple of blushes this time around and so the first one I'm gonna pick is this Ulta Beauty mineral blush this is in the shade stargazer it's like a mauve tone and it's a little bit deeper I love this blush formula and so I'm, I'm just so excited to pull it back out it's actually one of my favorite blush formulas like powder blush formulas ever so I'm really excited to pull this back out and I love this shade especially for winter then I want to pull out this number seven blush this is their matte blush in honey as you can see it's a lot more nude which is a good alternative to the mauve option I picked from the Ulta line this I actually got in New York just on a whim because they have number seven like in Dwayne Reed and Walgreens up there a lot more options at least and so I picked this up there and I, I've been loving it but I haven't used it in a while so I want to pull it back out and I think it's a great neutral option then for bronzer I want to pull the Park Avenue Princess bronzer from Tarte this is actually such a beautiful matte bronzer it's been out for years now and so it's often overlooked but it's still so beautiful and such a great tone especially for the winter and especially if you're fair so i'm excited to pull this back out for highlighter i want to pull this nyx born to glow highlight uh this is a favorite it's so beautiful it's obviously got this glimmery shade over here on the right which is definitely a little bit more punchy but i am drawn to this over here the more subtle highlight i love this for the eyes though but this oh chef's kiss it's so so pretty and so good so i'm gonna pull this and i know i'm gonna love it with the blush and bronzer combo or blushes and bronzer combo i have picked out all right so now i'm on my eyeshadow drawer and i already know the first palette i want to pick out it is this new mod eyeshadow palette from sigma it is the perfect pink tone shadow and i think it's going to be so much fun to pull out for valentine's day i have been dying to pull this back out and use it and valentine's day is a perfect excuse i want to pull out this latte kitten palette my friend melissa gave this to me it's from link winky lux and i have used this three or four times and i actually was like i really need to stop using this because i need to use the eyeshadow palettes i picked out in my january shop my stash and like continue using those until that one's over but now i can pull this one out i'm so excited it is the perfect nude eyeshadow palette there are obviously some pops of color but oh my gosh this shadow formula is absolutely amazing i love it i've been dying to try a winky Lux eyeshadow most specifically this one for a while now and she got it for me she didn't even know i wanted it and so she really knows the way to my heart eyeshadow palettes that are neutral and this is one of the best 
I know that's a bold statement, but I'm telling you, it is so amazing. Then lastly, I want to pick the ColourPop Cloud9 palette out. This was in my favorites video from last year. It is a cool tone lover's dream. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I knew I needed to whip this back out for February because in March, we're kind of probably going to introduce some spring eyeshadow colors. So I really wanted to pull this out and have one last hurrah with it where I use it and... I can appreciate it. It's definitely a wintry palette. I'm not saying you can't use it during the summer, but it's definitely a little bit more wintry. So I definitely want to get some use out of this during the month of February. So now I'm at my mascara drawer and eye primer. And you know what? I have not used the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer in a while. This used to be my favorite. I still really love it. I just am very, very into the Sigma eyeshadow primer right now. But I want to pull this back out and use it. I love it so much, so I'm excited to pull it back out. Then, I have not used the Tarte Maneater Mascara in a while. This is like the best high-end mascara in my opinion. It has a great wand. Let me show you. It's got like this really teeny tiny bristled wand, but I'm telling you, it's amazing at grabbing all of your lashes while also building volume. So I'm excited to use this. I probably need to use it up to be honest, so I'm gonna aim to do that. It might take a couple months to do that, but I am gonna grab this because I I really do like it. I don't know if I'd repurchase it because I do love the Rare Beauty one so much, and that one's better than this one in my opinion, but this one is such a great option, and it's usually in the 21 Days of Beauty sale, so if you ever see it, definitely give it a try because it is really, really good. All right, so now we're at the lip drawer, and I already know that I'm going to pull this Sephora lip liner in Sink or Suede. Such a great all over lip product. I actually use it as a lipstick instead of like a straight up lip liner. I really kind of want to pick out this Kosas lipstick. This is in the shade Heat Wave and as you can see it's such a beautiful like natural lip color. Such an underrated product from Kosas. So so comfortable on the lips. Then for a little bit of a deeper lipstick I want to pull out this L'Oreal lipstick. This is their Color Reach lipstick in La Wood. I think it's going to look really nice. It's just like a little bit of a bolder lipstick. I love this formula so much. It is so, so good. So I want to pull this and use it because darker vampire lipsticks are kind of going out after February, I would guess, February or March at least. And so I definitely want to get some usage of this in while I can, while it's a little bit more of a wintry feeling outside and while my makeup reflects that winter vibe. So I wanna pull this and I'm so excited because this is such a good formula. All right, so that is it for this month's Shop My Stash. I'm so excited to whip out the Sigma New Mod palette. I haven't used that in a while and I'm like, that's the perfect palette for Valentine's Day. So we're gonna whip it out, we're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna enjoy some of the cool toned shadows that I picked out as well as the Latte Kitten palette that my friend Melissa gave me. She gets me the best gifts. They're like bundled together. So anytime I mention that she's gotten me gifts, they're usually in bundles together for like, from like our birthday, cause we have, we both have birthdays in November and then Christmas. And she got me the Latte Kitten palette for Christmas and I am so excited to use it. I've used it a couple times already because I had to try it out. And since I tried it out, I've been wanting to get back into using it because I missed it. I mean, I've enjoy I enjoyed my palettes from January Shop My Stash, but I'm just really excited to use the palettes now, including the Latte Kitten one, including the New Mod one, including the Cloud9 one. We've got a whole new slew. And then of course, I'm so excited to use the other makeup I picked out for the month. So I hope you guys enjoyed picking this makeup out with me. I know I had a good time. I love shopping my stash. It's one of my favorite things to do because it's helping me expose myself or keep myself exposed to all the makeup in my collection instead of getting into a rut, which is what I used to do before my Shop My Stash series. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. Also subscribe if you have not already and check out the rest of my channel if you haven't yet. See if you like what I put out there. I do beauty, I do lifestyle. We do this sort of video every single month. So if you like Shop My Stash videos, make sure you've got your notification bells on so you know when they go up each month. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have the best rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video.